uh, they use guides and shit too. That's part of the reason I don't like uh, reviews. So the reviews aren't, they're not, I mean, they're biased by what they read in the first place because a lot of them read guides to help them get through them fast enough so they can review them. Yeah, you don't really sense. get the experience. So Master Blaster came out on the Nintendo. Uh -huh. In fact, I almost bought a Nintendo cart to add to my collection. But uh, it's one of the many, many like little adventure games uh -huh. back in the day, like Rygar and Zelda and uh -huh. Metroid that were like... And Strider. That were like, you know, like really long, kind of drawn out Crystalis, which is like an RPG like Zelda. Uh -huh. Like long, drawn out adventures, but... This one has, like, it mixes up between, like, a two-dimensional tank driving. Right. And then, like, top-down Zelda-like combat. Right. This is, like... I don't know what's going on. It's like telling you a story. Yeah, but my control's not... Like, connecting... Uh, is it dying? I don't think so. <clears throat> but it's funny is that when they released the game over here in America, uh -huh. they like redid the story to make it more of a story. Am I having to use? I can't tell if I'm supposed to have to use Joy Cons or what. I can tell you if I'm Weird. <sighs> huh? Pretty sure it said pro controller. Shut up. Fall back up. Um, what are we playing? Master Blaster. Blaster Master. Well, oh, this is connecting. Uh, yeah, you have to use the Joy Cons. Alright, well, welcome back to Dusty Gamers. Apparently, you gotta use Joy Cons for this. I have I need the fucking Joy-Con clipper thing then. Uh -huh. it looks like mm. you use them like almost more sideways. Oh yeah? Well I mean I guess it makes sense that it's a it's a classic Nintendo type game. And it's two player. Uh, it has like a co-op shooting thing, but yeah. you can like aim and shoot of course. Right. Game start. So, what do you think of the price of this game? Ten dollars. It's it's weird to me, like ten dollars, considering it's upgraded graphics, stuff like that. Well, no, it's like off. considering it's this is the only system you can play it on, and it's like your uh, your launch title, and very few no, games out it was to play. Second week. But still, like it's there's like ten fucking games out for the Switch right now. No, I think they were. I think they did it on Smart. I mean, smartly. Uh, I, I feel like they could have made more money if they sold it for like twenty bucks. I also didn't look it up. I'm not sure if this is a remake of the original, or if it's just like a riff on the original. <laughs> I believe it's a remake. Hold on, I got it pulled up on my Switch. Controls are. Yeah, I, I do not have any of the information I need for this game. Um, <laughs> there we go. I know I watched the original 1998 NES title Blaster Master. As, as a base, Blaster Master Zero has many new additions, such as new areas and bosses, gameplay elements such as extra sub weapons. So it's sort of a remake. Yeah. But I don't. I think this is the first time this has been released. I think it was on like Wii U or something. The Blaster Master? Yeah. But uh, okay, so the funny thing is when they brought it out over here in America, uh -huh. they changed like the name and gave it like a weird story and everything. Right. <laughs> I think it basically had no story. <laughs> And then they brought it out over here, and they were like, it's Blaster Master, and you're this guy, and everything. They gave it, like, a whole story. 
Naruto is more Metroid style. Like, because Metroid doesn't have, like, a, like, story. I mean, it has a story, but it's... It's not so... In your face. There we go. The story's subtle. <laughs> Guess there's fall damage. You didn't fall from very far, either. I'm supposed to st stick to the fucking plan. Yeah, well, there, see, there's, like, these moments where you get out of your car, but there's also these, like, weird top-down moments. Wow, shit. I bet, like, not having fall damage is probably something you get in the game. <laughs> I feel like we should probably continue exploring. Well, the only reason I can't get this is this guy, like, stays there. Yeah, I'm thinking this is, like, the way of saying this area is... Nah, fine. fuck you. boo doo this should be the top-down stuff. Yeah, here we go. Oh, this is weird. Yeah. Especially with, like, super updated graphics. Oh, fuck. Those are... Bad. They look like, uh... They look like Mega Man power-ups. I thought I was just able to walk over them. <laughs> I thought there was something you picked up. Oh, well, yeah, they look exactly like Mega Man capsules. So, uh... I, I only know Master Blaster from watching my friends play it. Like, I never actually got around to playing it on Nintendo. There's a bridge. But it was, a uh, it could have been one of the, like, it could have, it should have been around as long as Mega Man, in my opinion. Like, it's weird that, like, it never got brought back, you know what I mean? Like, for so long. I never heard of it until literally I saw this. I got a map. Because, like, I don't know, man. All these, like, adventure games, like, there's so many of them. They all... They gave you so much, like, uh, like old-school Nintendo adventure games. Uh -huh. Gave you so much bang for your buck. They were just so much more fun than, like, the little arcade games. It's, they kind of defined what Nintendo could be, or console games could be back then. Right. By, by giving you more than, uh, you know, like, steal your coins fucking shit. Give you a whole adventure. That's why the, I like the, uh, I like the Nintendo Strider better than, like, the arcade Strider. Because... Uh, I didn't know there was an arcade strider. The arcade strider, like the Genesis ones and stuff, were like, uh, they're, they're like arcade, they're like fast paced, you just run to the left and kill everything. Right. Whereas, like, the Nintendo one had, like, you go around the globe and pick stuff up in order to get, this is more Metroid, but you had to go around the globe and get new items to get further in, you know? The only thing I, the only thing I know about strider is the one we had for Xbox One and I hated it. Yeah, that one's more like Metroid. That was a Metroid-style game. Well, it was just so fucking hard. That one was just so fucking hard. Oh, shit. Do -do 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 -do. So is it Twin Stick whenever it's like this? No. I'm just hit. I'm shooting with a different button. You can't use the other stick. So it's just... Uh, shoot Ow. for it just shoots forward. Yeah, it just shoots in whatever direction I'm aiming. It'd actually probably be easier if it was twin stick. Although you can, you don't have to like hold it. So. Sorry. I honestly don't know which of these gauges I need to worry about. Like. Uh, P. So yeah, when I when I was looking at the releases of the thing, I was like, ten bucks, man. They should be like, because they're basically in a drought, like a game drought. <laughs> they could probably get a lot more money. Yeah, but the thing is, if they had sold it for more, a bunch of stuff came out that week. Yeah, but a bunch of crap. Like, there's no like major games. Yeah, but the thing is, though, people that didn't know this game from Nintendo. It just looks like another... Well, all that crap costs a fucking ton of money, too. Like, like they're getting away with selling I Am Setsuna for, like, 40 bucks. Well, that was That's launch. cheaper on everybody else's systems. Um, the reason why games are more for, uh, for Switch, you hear about this? No. Um, so the cartridges cost more. Yeah, but the digital. Well, I Am no, Setsuna's no, no. not even no. on the fucking cart. But Nintendo won't allow you to have a digital price... And a physical price. Yeah. Because they don't want to make their retailers mad. I mean, the other thing, like, 
Like, Shovel Knight looks like it'd be fun, but we have it on Xbox, you know what I mean? Yeah, I didn't like it that much when we played on Xbox. I liked it a lot. It was like DuckTales. I never beat it, though. It got really, really hard. <laughs> DuckTales for assholes. Well, DuckTales is DuckTales for wimps. Wimps and bitches. That game's so easy. Yeah, but... I desperately need a run button right now. Shovel Knight's, like, fucking super hard. I look this game looks like something I would like but it looks super like I mean I get it's only the first you know 15 minutes of the game but it looks super slow oh no oh god oh god I'm having bad flashback memories of watching people play this game So, uh, got a new phone today. I oh, was yeah? At, I was at, uh, Sprint, talking to the Sprint guy, and he, we were talking about something, and we were talking about, uh, the, somehow we started talking about the Switch, and I was like, oh, I love the Switch, I, I love it, I go, I, I can't wait for Binding Isaac to, uh, come out on Friday, and stuff, so he goes, oh, yeah, he goes, have you, have you ever played Binding Isaac? I was like, oh, yeah, I've played it for two years, and Angie's face when he asked me if uh, I ever played Binding Isaac was like, what do you know about Binding Isaac? <laughs> mm. It was great. He's like, have you ever played Binding Isaac? I'm like, yes. For two years now. Yeah, that game's expensive. Yeah, but it's expensive if you just buy it and then buy all the DLC. It still, it's still, it's still costs more on the Wii. I mean the Switch. Yeah, but it's because of the, it's again it's because of the cartridges. I only want it because of the Zelda manual, but I don't think I'm gonna spend forty bucks on it. Matt, we actually can start playing Mass Effect on fucking Thursday. But I might actually be able to play it tomorrow night. So EA access for the win. I feel like last time the EA Access didn't come out at midnight for some reason. I don't know. All I know is they said Thursday. When they said Thursday, they might have meant Thursday night, too. I don't know. I just listen to what people say and say, yeah, that sounds like a plan. I guess we'll know tomorrow at midnight. Yeah. I mean, either way, I gotta fucking... I don't have it preloaded, so I don't have it pre-ordered, so I can't play it right away. I gotta download it. You can't pre-download it? We don't have it pre-ordered. If you pre-order it, you can pre-download it. Yeah, but you can't pre-download it with EA Access? <laughs> no, I don't think so. You can download it You can download it on EA Access once it comes out. And I thought you could for some reason. I guess the other games... We, we usually, we're usually, we usually pre-order them, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I sh I, the only reason I'm not buying Mass Effect right this second... I'm not sure if I'm going to play it with Zelda. Zelda's too fucking good. Why is there a ladder underwater? So, I, it's basically telling me to get my ass out of my tank and fucking walk up here. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Hi, what am I going to land on the ground? It's really wonky with the, D, without, with the uh, analog stick. Like, I you're not supposed to play with the analog stick, but... The analog stick's... Like, do not... I already don't like the analog stick on the Joy-Cons. I don't have a problem with it. The only problem I have with it is the... I'm just used to decent. Button. It's just like... It's a downgrade from like... Quality... Analog sticks. I think they're quality. They're not as good... They're not nearly as good as the Pro Controller or the Xbox. They're a downgrade. Like an obvious downgrade. They don't have the same range. They don't feel the same. I don't know. I like them better, actually, than the ones on the Xbox. That's, I have that's crazy problems talk. with the ones on the Xbox. I've broken three of them. The Xbox jo joysticks are fucking shit. You've only had this for a while. You don't know if you're going to break them yet. It doesn't even move that far. Yeah, you'll break them. It'll happen. You already complained about hitting the button on them. On accident. Yeah. Do, 
do 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 ah. They don't feel cheap like the one on the Xbox. The Xbox one feels cheap. And this doesn't grind. Yeah, I, di I disagree. This doesn't grind either. Which is another problem with the Xbox one. Well, uh, the Pro Controller grinds the same as the Xbox one does. I used the Pro Controller once, so I can't say anything about the Pro Controller. Well, it has the same, like, it's just the outside of the thing hitting the edges. These don't have the outside of the ring that you yeah. push on. The Pro Controller has the same ring on it. Right. That's what's grinding. Just push down too hard. This game feels very pointless. Well, I'm supposed to be looking for upgrades that get me places and killing bosses and shit. I'm just... Right. I'm at the beginning of it. That thing's creepy looking. Yeah, it's terrifying. <laughs> like, his little visor has, like, a shine to it. Yeah. There it goes. <laughs> little glistening visor. What's glistening from the... Uh, it's it's shining from how cool he is. This is just pure style. It's reflection from the laser. What else do these guys remake? Because they remake something else. I don't know who these guys are. It's like Inti Creates or something. What the hell is that? <laughs> it's a giant brain. Damn it, I guess I gotta do this. The Forest Destroyer. Oh, it's called Mother Brain. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. Oh, it's chasing me. I watched the speedrun uh, of the original. I think it was probably an awesome game done quick. But I don't know if it was this year or not. Mom just broke her vagina out. Oh, fuck, I'm out of those grenades. Yay! This feels like every Binding Isaac boss. Yeah. Wow, the vibrations are crazy on these. Yeah. Like, you can hear it. <laughs> it's like a fucking cell phone going off in your hand. Hyper shot. Oh, the tank's name, Sophia. That's my cousin's name. <laughs> I was actually just looking at it. Um, from Sunsoft. Huh? Oh, no, that's the original people that made it. Yeah, I told you it's like NT creates. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to go back in there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I killed a boss, so I'm gonna take a break. See you guys on the next episode.